This is a learning resource called Second Reading. I'm going to read a series of excerpts that are numbered. After reading the first time, I'm going to pause for five seconds before saying Second Reading. I will then repeat the excerpt for a second time, allowing you to catch anything you may have missed the first time and for more complex ideas to sink in. This series is called Ideological and Theoretical Unity. Number seven. This unity occurs through the decision-making process of the anarchist organization and has an objective to determine a clear political line, theoretical and ideological, that must necessarily guide all the activities and actions of the organization, which, both as a whole as well as in the details, should be an exact and constant agreement with the line defined by the organization. Second reading. Number seven. This unity occurs through the decision-making process of the anarchist organization and has an objective to determine a clear political line, theoretical and ideological, that must necessarily guide all the activities and actions of the organization, which, both as a whole as well as in the details, should be an exact and constant agreement with the line defined by the organization. Number eight. To constitute this tool of solid and consistent combat, it is essential that the anarchist organization has well-determined strategic, tactical, and political lines, which occur through theoretical and ideological unity, and the unity of strategy and tactics. Second reading. Number eight. To constitute this tool of solid and consistent combat, it is essential that the anarchist organization has well-determined strategic, tactical, and political lines, which occur through theoretical and ideological unity, and the unity of strategy and tactics. Number nine. The absence of this theoretical and ideological political line leads to a lack of articulation or even to conflicting articulation in the set of concepts, the result of which is incorrect, confusing, and or inefficient practice. Second reading. Number nine. The absence of this theoretical and ideological political line leads to a lack of articulation, or even to conflicting articulation in the set of concepts, the result of which is incorrect, confusing, and or inefficient practice. Number 10. The specific anarchist organization should seek to perform a diagnosis of the reality within which it operates, set the final long-term objectives, and, most importantly, determine the different periods and cycles of struggle each one with their respective objectives. Second reading. Number 10. The specific anarchist organization should seek to perform a diagnosis of the reality within which it operates, set the final long-term objectives, and, most importantly, determine the different periods and cycles of struggle each one with their respective objectives. Thank you for listening, and keep up the militant study.